How's it going guys? I'm going to go ahead and show you how to trend trade like a professional. Now, this is actually pretty simple, but people like to make it hard. All right, guys, I'm going to jump right into it. Now, you don't need a lot of indicators. In fact, the less indicators and the more simple that you make it, the simpler it is, the more effective and profitable your strategy can be. In this strategy, we're using the 20, the moving average 20, and the moving average 50. And I have them color coded here. The 20 is blue, as you can see here, and the 50 is red. With this strategy, the first thing we look for is whenever the 20 and the 50 cross. All right. Now you can see it crossing all over the place here, but there's one more factor to this, and I'll tell you here in a bit. So we look for it for a cross. Boom. We're going to use this example here, this trade that I have open right now is doing very well, I'm writing the trend pretty well. And I'm going to show you how I got in at the beginning, somewhat at the beginning of the trend. So I noticed the 20 and the 50 crossed right here. Boom. That's your first indication. Next indication, you got to see where you have your major support and resistance. This yellow line here shows the major uh, resistance, which is up here. I saw, you got to use past history here, I saw that the highest it went in the past was here. Sure, we got this little spike here, but pretty much the average is where this yellow line is. So I said, okay, there's a potential for it to break through. And you want to get in these trends when they break through. So what I, and then the next thing you want to look for is a sideways pattern action. Right here, we're seeing a sideways action. That means that momentum is being held up for a possible big move what I like to do when I see a sideways pattern like that I like to put a pending order above it in this case it's above it because this is an uptrend I, if you notice right here I put a pending order right above that sideways action you saw right there put the pending order you could put the pending order above this yellow line too because that is where the previous high was so, you, so either way is okay. All right. You could put your stop loss somewhere below this sideways pattern action we're seeing here. You could, I'll put a line right there. You could put your, I'll put that line as red for you guys. So that'll signify a stop loss. So you could put your stop loss somewhere down here. I like to use the ATR. The ATR is a good indicator to tell you where you might want to put your stop loss I'll make another video on that so stay tuned for a video on how to use that how to use stop losses okay let's put that yellow line on there again all right so you could put put it where I put it here or you could put it right where this yellow line is or above that yellow line uh, both work if you know if you notice that after a while there was a big move boom I guessed right there was gonna be a big move pending order got triggered boom now all you do is ride the trend all the way and what I like to do I, I like to use the blue line you're seeing here the 20 moving average I like to use my trailing stop on the on the 20 moving average so what I've been doing is following this blue line with my trailing stop so I move my stop loss up into profit which is called a trailing stop and if you notice, I've just been following the 20 moving average, the blue line here, with my trailing stop. Just been following it all the way up. And I'm going to continue to follow it. So once this moving average moves up more, I'm going to follow it with this trailing stop and move it up with it. Until the trend loses its strength and it triggers the, uh, the trailing stop. And that right there, guys, is how you get into a good trend at the beginning. All right. Let's go through it again. First step, look for the 20 moving average and the 50 moving average crossing. Boom, they crossed right here. Look for a potential major support and resistance. And right here we have a major resistance up here. Third, look for a sideways pattern. Here we have a sideways pattern. And then fourth, put your uh, pending order above that sideways pattern or above the 
the uh, major resistance here. Once that pending order gets triggered, you are in a good spot for potentially riding a trend at the very beginning or close to the beginning. And if it doesn't work, guys, just take a small loss. Boom. Your stop loss, put it, put it kind of tight, your stop loss. And boom, just take a small loss, guys, and then try it again with, an, with another currency that is showing some good movement. Now, there is a tool that we use to find which currencies are moving the most. And that's how we uh, first select which currencies we're going to possibly look at trends. I will post a video on how, to, how I do that here soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you soon in one of my other videos.